Hey guys, OJL Biden here. Bring you guys our GDL Season 2 Week 7. Week 7 battle against mid Pokemaster and his Alabama rollouts. Again, I had to look twice because I didn't know the week number and I didn't know the team that Nib was using for this season. But um, we're going up against my good buddy Mid. He's a great guy. Definitely go check him out in the description below um, and go check out his side and show him support. Good, good buddy of mine. But um, yeah, really, really tough matchup. We'll get into it really quick here, but it's a very, very tough matchup. Before I do them, just want to mention only a good, you know, 40% of you guys who are watching the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching them every day and you're enjoying me, enjoy this one, even if it's your first one, be sure to drop a sub. It's free. It helps me out and lets me know you're enjoying what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick team builder just so you can see what we're bringing, why we're bringing it. Um, so you have the background knowledge going into the match. So our team, if you did forget, consists of Keldeo, Scizor, the Trio, Drapion, Rotomo, Talonflame, Dewblade, Orbeetle, Rhydon, Drampa, and G Max Alcremie. While our opponent's team consists of Gengar, Arcanine, Hippowdon, Rotomwash, Bronzong, Inteleon, Aromatisse, Dredagon, Lanoon, Lilligant, and G Max Single Strike Urshifu. Now, if you were here, um, what was it? Two weeks ago, when we played Mad O'Shea in Montreal, my larks, uh, you would have known that we had nothing for Urshifu. We got lucky and got a Flame Body Burn. That was our, you know, counterplay around it, unfortunately. Um, and now we play the G-Max version, which has its ups and downs for us. One, it can't hold an item, which is obviously nice. So we don't have to worry about Band or Life Orb or anything like that, or like a bulk of Left set. But the downside is obviously that it can G-Max, and that's really, really scary. Because nothing on our team can Oko when it G-Maxes, really, besides our Alcremie. So we're going to have to be careful on that, especially because we don't have a very defensive G-Max. It's going to be really tough for us. Um, other than that, Big Threat's Inteleon kind of runs me. I'm really scared of either a Focus Energy set or like an Agility 3-Attacks um, Life Orb set. Absolutely runs me one. And then Gengar is also very, very scary. Uh, it can push through Drapion pretty easily, which you'll see we actually are not bringing Drapion despite me really wanting to bring it. Uh, we have a different Gengar check, um, fortunately. But yeah, plus two Focus Blast like, runs through Drapion. Even if we're like Max for death, he just needs to like switch in a couple times. Maybe switch and take one Shadow Ball. And rocks, and then it's in range of a plus two focus blast. So, woo, really scary. Um, and if it's life form, even even less switching. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a really really tough matchup. Uh, Lanoon, another thing, actually, I totally forgot to mention. Kind of get smashed by Lanoon if he ends up bringing it. We are double steel. We also do have a dew blade. So maybe he doesn't bring it specifically because of that. But um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to having to deal with this team. It's also very tough to break. Arcanine, we don't deal very well. Hippo is very very tough for us. Um, Bronzong is super annoying. So. It's a really tough matchup. We'll see what we can do, though. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the first mod, which is going to be our Keldeo, probably our primary win con this week. Um, rocking out with the leftovers, Justified as its ability, Scald, Secret Sword, Calm Mind, and Substitute. 116 HP, 4 defense, 212 special attack, 4 for death, and 172 speed with a timid nature. Now, this thing is here to potentially win late game if we can get chip on Aromatisse, which I think we can. Get chip on a little bit of Rodom, which I think we can for sure, um, as long as we can, you know, get up a couple couple cut mines, Gengar can't revenge us, as long as we can, uh, you know, get the Urshifu to waste his G-Max at plus one, we should kill that as well. So this thing does really, really well in the end game, uh, provided we get chip on that Aromatisse. It does phenomenally, in all honesty. So, provided we can do that, we should be in a pretty good spot. Another really big benefit to the substitutes is we really need to, and he's not max Airstream Urshifu, which I really do expect him to be in this matchup, because it, the speed boost is, like, really bad for us. Um, but if it is not max Airstream Urshifu, then we can, you know, sub down and stall out of the G-Max turns, which I think is also very important, but likely I'll probably go for Secret Sword damage if I'm in this situation, just because I want to put in range of a Talent Flame Hurricane, uh, which we'll get to in a minute, but that's going to be Keldeo, probably our primary win gun this week. Next up, we got a Rotom, Mo, rocking out the Yachi Berry, Levitate Disability, Leaf Storm, Volt Switch, Nasty Plot, and Pain Split. We got 236 EVs in HP, 20 Special Attack, and 252 Speed with a Timid Nature. This is going to be our Inteleon check. Which is very scary, because, like, uh, Scope Lens, you know, Sniper Ice Beam does a ridiculous amount. If he's modest, he has a roll to kill us after rocks. Um, I don't know if he'll necessarily want to go modest in this matchup in particular, if he's fearing the Keldeo a little bit. But, uh, it's, it's gonna be really, really tough. Especially because Keldeo can be really fast against him as well, so. It's gonna be very, very tough for us to deal with, but we are the Ajibir, so we can, uh, you know, obviously chew it and either least on to kill it or more than likely Volt Switch if we still do have Scissor because that will put in range of um, our Bullet Punch, which we'll get to here in a minute. It's also a great Rotom check. Um, it's a great Hippo check. It's a great Bronzong check. We can boost past that. It's a, you know, a solid Aromatisse lure in the sense that we can kind of nasty plot past the thing and paint split up to where we can put it in range of a plus six Leaf Storm pretty easily. And that's obviously really nice for us as well, especially our Keldeo endgame, uh, which is obviously really, really important. 
Next up, we got Dia Beat, the G Max Alpha Beam, rocking out the Love Ball. From Availed's ability, Dazzling Beam, Recover, Mystical Fire, and Calm Mind. EVs wise, we are rocking out with 180 HP, 244 Defense, and 84 Special Attack with a bold nature. Now, this thing is literally just going to be chilling in the back in case that Urshifu gets out of hand. Because as long as we save our G Max for when he G Maxes, we can always live a hit and then revenge it pretty much. So I think that's very, very important. We do drop the moment he G Maxes up and goes for like a max steel spike. Uh, we just get blown off the face of the earth. So we're going to have to be careful about that. But if it's not G Max, we can live a hit. Um, and if it's G Max and we're G Max, we can definitely live a hit. So I think that's obviously really, really important. We can push past Bronzong in the late game with uh, Mystical Fires. Uh, Arcanine is a bit of an issue, but if it's a defensive set, we can actually put it just set up on it. Which is obviously really nice, provided it's not roller or toxic, which it again definitely could be. Um, we can push past Hippo, which is obviously really nice. We set up on Rotom. Uh, we set up on a Robotis if it's not toxic, and this is also a pretty solid win con in the end game if it lets us if uh, he lets us boost past enough to where Gengar can't really break through us. But honestly, this thing is supposed to sit in the back so that we don't lose the G Max or Shifu, um, like off rip because we kind of do, unfortunately. Uh, next up though, we got our Drampa making its debut finally. Panther the old man. Rocking out with the Chapel Berry, Berserk as its ability, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, Roost, and Toxic. Eevee, EVs wise, we got max HP, 4 defense, 36 special attack, 124 defense, uh, speed def, and 92 speed with a modest nature. Now, this thing is here to check Gengar somewhat. It stops Shadow Ball spam from our team. Like, a Specs Gengar could be very, very obnoxious for us. Uh, we can live any plus 2 hit as well, provided it's not Life Orb, I believe. Um, and I don't expect it to be Dazzling. I expect the Focus Blast, um, despite. You know, Dazzling Gleam being a little bit more accurate hitting the Keldeo super effectively. I think Focus Blast hits my team harder overall. And it um, lets him push that drape down a little bit more. So we went with the Chopper Berry opposed to the... Um, what's the berry called? Roselli Berry, um, which I was wrestling with a little bit. And I hope it pays off, but I, I personally think he runs Focus Blast in this matchup. Next up, we got Talonflame rocking off the Heavy Duty Boots. Gale Wings, its ability, Flamethrower, Hurricane, Roost, and U-Turn. EVs wise, we got 228 HP, 148 Special Attack, and 132 Speed with a Timid Nature. Now, this thing is a backup check to Urshifu. We do have the Gale Wings plus our Heavy Duty Boots, which means we'll always get off at least one Priority Hurricane, which I think is pretty nice. We will kill an Urshifu from full when it is not Dynamaxed up, which is also really, really important. It's a good pivot this game. Uh, we can pivot around things like Arcanine. We can pivot around things like Hippo, maybe force him into, you know, a uh, recover turn or something like that. We're a good Bronzong check. Uh, we outspeed the Inteleon, so we can potentially revenge that if we do land our Hurricanes and, you know, things like that. It's also just great priority if we really do end up meeting it, even versus like a Lilligant, which can be kind of scary versus our team. So something we're just going to have to keep in mind, obviously. And then I believe lastly... Yeah, lastly, we got our Sizzle rocking out the choice, bad technician ability, bullet punch, U-turn, facade, and knockoff. EVs wise, we got 76 HP, 236 attack, 4 defense, 4 for death, and 188 speed with an adamant nature. Now, I know it sounds a bit odd bringing a banded Sizzle versus a team with double water, Arcanine, Hippowdon, but I think it's very, very important because it's something to, you know, bait a lot of those mods in to get chip on them. I think it's important to really bait in that Arcanine, especially get a knockoff on it if we can which is really nice. I like the priority for the Gengar so we don't lose to it. I like the priority for a weakened Urshifu so we don't lose to it. Um, it's great for breaking through the Aromatisse. It's great for picking off a weakened Inteleon as well. And then Banded U-Turns are going to hurt things like Hippo, Rotom, Ronzong, all those things. Um, if it's not a Fizz Def Hippo, I believe we actually 2 a KO with U-Turn, which I think is important. Or for side, in case we get hit with a burn, uh, it's just a nice neutral move to click. And then Bullet Punch U-Turn is obviously pretty um, self-explainable. And uh, as well as Knockoff being a move that can obviously Oko, Gengar, but also bait in those mods that we don't want to lose their items if we know a very obvious switch is happening and we don't gain too much momentum from a um, from a U-Turn, then that's definitely my play. But yeah, that's going to be the team. I'll be right back with the match. All right, guys, here we are with the battle. We are connected with Mr. Mid. Let's write down his team. I know he's bringing Urshifu, because why wouldn't you? Urshi, Rotom... Arcanine. Wait! Oh, okay, I thought he didn't have the Urshifu. I was like, ah! Okay. Until, yeah, he bought <laughs> basically exactly what I thought he would. Something I've kind of noticed is my, uh... My Drampa goes crazy this game. <laughs> he doesn't switch into Hyper Voice plus Shadow Ball, like, at all. Um, what do I want to lead off with, though? I kind of want to lead off with my... My dude... My uh, Talonflame. I think it's just my best lead in this instance. Uh, it leads well versus a Bronzong, which I think is really important. 
And if I can break through the Bronzong, I think my, um, what do you call it, can win as well. My, uh, my Alcremie, because I can boost past his defensive Arcanine, and I think he's definitely defensive in this matchup. So, we'll see. Good luck if I'm to mid, though. Hopefully we can pull this one out. Gengar. Okay, so he leads Gengar. Now, let's see. There's Scarf Shadow Ball to a KOS. It does. Do I want to get that information, though? He also doesn't have great Hurricane plus Flamethrowers for chance. I'm going to Hurricane. So, yeah. Free, uh, free Hurricane. So, he goes Arcanine. Very good to know. Uh, he could also be Shed Shell in this matchup, too, which I think is very important to know. Can I get a Hurricane chip off? There we go. Oh, we get a Confusion. That's all. Super nice. Um, 252. He is Intimidate. There's also good information. He is not Flash Fire. So, Hurricane did about max HP damage. Um, HP. And let's go ahead and just U-turn on out. <laughs> and try to figure out what my switch is, because I don't have great ones. So we get to keep our Gale Wings, which is also really nice. Uh, Probably he isn't Rocky Helmet, which he isn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> now from here, haha, <laughs> I'm kind of in a tough spot. Because I can't really go into... Uh, my dude. I can't really go into my Keldeo or anything like that because a Wild Charge is pretty likely. I would love if he hit himself right here. Toxic. Very interesting. Okay. That makes sense, too. A part of me really expects the Bronzong to come in. But I don't know what I can do. Like, I can... I'm going to Toxic in case he tries to recover my face. I could have also gone for a Shadow Ball. Just like raw for a Shadow Ball. Or he does stay in. Morning Sun. Yeah. So I figured he might try and recover. So I like getting off this Toxic. I think that's really important. Because this thing is really tough for me to break. Um, I do have to be wary of this thing clicking Toxic on my team. <laughs> That's not fun. My Trampa doesn't really do as well when it's poison though. Which is really unfortunate. I wish I was like aromatherapy on my Alcremie. Meat, but this thing being poisoned is really nice as well for my uh, Alcremie. Meat. Though it can kind of just poison me. <laughs> which isn't fun. Now, part of me really wants to make that double. Part of me really wants to make that double catching the bronze on. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. So he's gonna switch. Out comes the bronze on. Which is nice. Um, and I have double ground. I don't think you're heat proof. I really don't think you're heat proof. Which is obviously super good for me. Which makes me really want a U turn here. Because I think you want to keep this healthy. He could totally stay in though and like try and get a rocks or something, which would not be fun. But regardless on boots, rocks don't really, you know, hamper my team all that much. So he's gonna switch. Awesome. Back out into Arcanine. If Arcanine is max HP after poison, it might even be range of uh of Keldeo. So part of me even just wants to throw off a scald, what's a scald pivot? Does not have a scald switching. I mean, I suppose he has the Rotom, but regardless, if I can have a burn on that, I think that's really important. So, why not just go for it here? So, max HP is in range of a scald right here. Um, but I think just getting off some damage on that Rotom is really big. So he's going to switch, I assume, out into a big Rotom Wash. Yeah. Uh, but slowly chipping this thing down into range of Keldeo at, like, plus one is really big. We're going to get a Scald off. Can I get a burn? Let's go. 
So Rotom's lefties. That's gonna be amazing. Wash. So as Scald would have done about max HP damage. So he's probably a lot more defensive. And it sucks, because I don't want to go Drampa, even though it's a little bit yet less useful. Just because of the fact that I don't want to allow in, um, what do you call it, Urchifu for free. So I'm going to make the Rodin play as easy as this Volt Switch is for him. Um, I think this is a play I kind of have to make, unfortunately. Because we don't take that much from it, so it's not the end of the world. We still should be out of range of an Inteleon hit. Um, but it's, this is going to give him a lot of momentum, which is not very fun. Not a big fan. So that Gengar, that's not good. Part of me wants to make the, um, the Scizor play. Scizor. Into Gengar. A level 50. Bullet Punch would actually, like, be a really good roll in my favor to knock him out. I'm gonna go for the, um, the Shizor play. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. So you might even go for a Sludge Wave. Yeah, okay, cool. That's very good. Um, and I'm just gonna U-turn because it catches the Arcanine. I'm banded, so that'll slowly chip it down, especially with the Toxic. And so he's gonna switch. Um, he obviously never killed me in one. And if you burn me, I'm still facade, so like, worst comes to worst, it's, it's fine. Uh, so this will at least be a neutral U-turn, which is nice. Um, he's likely max defense, and it, this is also making me think he's probably choice Gengar. Well, that's a crit. No, that just did a lot of damage. Good lord. So we're going to get into Caldeo for free. And part of me really just wants to throw off a secret sword. Or I can sub in case he tries to toxic me. I'm gonna sub. You could also just sack this. I'm gonna sub down. It covers the Rotom coming in as well, because I'll at least be able to get a secret sword off and see if he has Thunderbolt or something like that, as he's likely gonna go Rotom right here. So yeah, out comes the Rotom. I wish I had rocks at this point, because rocks would be, like, amazing. But if he's just, like, max HP, max speed, Rotom, Wash. Keldeo does a lot with Secret Sword. This is actually a 2-hit KO if he's just max HP. And, like, a little bit of defense. So that's what we're going to click. Ain't no reason to click anything otherwise. And Secret Sword's going to go off. I'm wearing a really loose shirt. I hate how it makes, like, I hate the big drop. It's not fun. So we're in a secret sword right here. Oh, that doesn't look like it does enough. So that's fine. I get a lot of damage. Now it's not a switch in anymore. Like, whatsoever. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. Okay. Now we're in a tough spot, though, because he gets a free switch into whatever he wants to go into. How comes a Gengar? It could Dazzling Gleam here. It could also Psychic. I'm gonna go into my Drampa. I hope he's not Dazzling Gleam. He's choice, which is very interesting. I thought he'd be nasty block this matchup. Shadow Ball for me? Psychic. Okay. We can lift two of those. And this has no switchins, actually. I think we lift two. Please? He's life orb. Uh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> can we lift two? Actually, I don't know if we could lift two. Maybe that wasn't a great switch. Um, he might go for it, and he might even go for a Focus Blast. Um, we are Chopple, though. Well, if this is gonna kill me. I thought he'd be choiced. The way he's playing it. So, Drampa's not gonna do as good as we wanted, and I cannot put him in the top down now, which is so upsetting. Now I'm gonna go Scizor and just Bullet Punch. Oh, 
Uh, Bandit Scizor is actually looking great, though. With how much ship we have on his team. Like, it's looking really solid. So I'm going to bullet punch in case he tries to just stay and get some chip off on this because he knows he can live one. Um, I really, ah, maybe I should have U-turned. That would have been such a good spot with, um, Keldeo. Like, such a good spot with Keldeo. But it happens. It happens. But yeah, we'll see. As he is going to go Arcanine, which is unfortunate, but I think we forced him into a recover turn here. But I don't know how much I can really risk going into um, Kelio, man. He might just play a really aggressive play and go for Toxic. And if he does that, I think I just lose. <sighs> Though he should recover here. I have to make the Keldeo play. Oh, please don't Toxic, please don't Toxic, please don't Toxic, please don't Toxic. If he Toxics, I think I lose. Yeah. If he Toxics, I think I lose. Teleport. Okay. Well, that's not as bad. We'll get a turn of lefties. Which is clean. How comes Inteleon? Oh man, <laughs> let's find my switch into you, um, Inteleon, Choice Specs, Air Slash. I kind of need this mod to win. I think I might lose this game, unfortunately. Oh, I'm just kind of in a bad spot. He doesn't kill me with anything. He's not Specs. From 169 HP. He does two it KO me. But like, I don't know what play I really make. I'm gonna make this his or play. Wait, I should have calc. I think I die from air slash into pop. Um... Focus energy. Book! Okay, I think I lose. I didn't think you'd just do that. I threw. I threw. I threw. I threw. Um, I have to U-turn. I think that's the game, though. Do I die? Do I die? If I die, I lose. That's the game. Yep, that's the game. I just got swept. <laughs> I think. We'll see. Without Scizor, oh, that's so bad. Okay. I think I lose. I should have just stayed and got chip because I think I put him in range of uh, bullet punch after. That was definitely a big throw on my end. Um, maybe I should have just gotten bullet punch chip off as well. But I should live an ice beam. I volt switch out, get a slow volt. So we are Yachi. Unless he's modest, we live this hit, guaranteed. Crit, don't freeze me. That's the game. What can you do? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the game. Um, I can't even be mad. That's, that's just Pokemon, I guess. Um, nice. Very frustrating. That's very frustrating. So I think my only play is to go um, into Alcremie. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Okay, um, I have to go Alcremie. Try not to at least get 6 would But I think that's the game. Uh, I, I wish I could give you guys some more insightful commentary, but um, we lived that and then we put in range of talent flame. But what can you do? What can you do? I guess I guess that's Pokemon. Uh, we've we've won our last three weeks before this, so like we'll just have to bounce back going forward. Um, that's just very frustrating uh, because I needed to keep this G Max. Now I uh, I think I lose guarantee into uh, Urshifu in the back later on. 
So it's at least a 2 at KO. Which is cool. Um. Well, G-Max Finale again. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't really have another play. Yeah. Uh, we were prepared for the moment at the very least. It just didn't work out. Uh, ah, yeah, and we'll see what we can do. Um, maybe we can claw this back somehow with Keldeo. Um, but I think the combination of Gengar plus Earth should, should always win this game. I think Mid would have to hand me the game on Silver Platter. Or he would have to click, um, like, he'd have to be Shadow Punch instead of Shadow Ball. That could also be an option. I didn't play this game phenomenally, though. I won't lie to you guys. I didn't play this game phenomenally, but I think we still didn't have a shot. Um, if the road didn't get frozen, but. Not Jesse's fault. <laughs> Can we live one? Come on, Al Creamy. If you live this, you get a kill. Come on, Al Creamy. Maybe you'll misclick. Oh no, he did it. Oh no. Yeah, this game should be over. Uh, crit. I don't think that mattered. It's a life of game. Yeah, that's really rough, dude. This one could have won the end game too. But hey. What can you do? What can you do? If we get a hurricane confusion. Ho oh, ho. Then we're we're in business. Um hurricane should actually claim us a kill here, which is cool. And provided we hit. Um maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. Which side of my neck is showing? Provided we hit Arcanine. That's not very nice. Not a big fan of that. No, sure. Okay, so we're going to click Hurricane. We do connect, which is cool. Awesome. Which means that Trampa is going to pick up the singular kill of today. Or, er, no, the second one. Ooh, not even a 5-0. We're, we're chilling. We're in business. We're in business. Man. Ah. I have, like, a big-ass pimple right here. It's really annoying me. You can't really see it in the camera. Eh, you kind of can. Yeah. Almost looks like a bug bite, which is weird. That shit hurts. Okay. We still got Gale Wings, which is dope. So, like, big, big para time on Rotom. I mean, big hurricane confusion on Rotom. What's my play? Do I roost? I can't even roost. That's the worst part, because I'm at full. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, down flame. He's a defensive Rotom. At level 50. I think we still die, though. Yeah, we do. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to hurricane and pray. Hit. Confusion. I deserve it. Come on. That's a crit. Confusion. Come on, give it to me. No? Fuck you. Uh, maybe I could have gone Kelsey over there, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, it's pretty brutal, though. It's not looking too good for your hero. We're going to roost. Envy doesn't have Hydro Pump. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we can, like, stall this thing out. <laughs> I say laughing. Volt switch. Oh! 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 Look at that. <laughs> now, um... <laughs> hmm. Big Talonflame. Putting the team on its back. You're gonna go Earth Spoon, you're gonna max, and you're gonna max Airstream and win. That's not fair. Um, but I'm gonna hurricane because why not? I could also roost expecting the Rotom pivot. But like he should just max. I can't kill him. I do fifty percent max. I mean min with this, yeah. So that's not fun. We'll see though. Urshishishifu. I can't be mad. I think I would have the pieces to win this game too. I really do think I would have the pieces. But
Give me one. Oh! Max Rockfall. Hey, yo. That's not cool. Ouch. Okay, well, I mean, I tied to a Max Darkness, so I don't even know what he brought that. To be completely honest, like, I feel like Wicked Blow is just so much more free. I guess if he was, like, trying to catch me on a switch in and not get my body, because I did that before. But, um, I'll be able to claim one more. <laughs> Is there any way we live a life orb Gengar? Psychic. I mean, I think regardless, my play is just click secret sword. It's like some diff. Um, there's no way we win this game, unfortunately. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe he's like really aggressive Gengar. That would actually be fire. No, sir. No sand chip for you. Uh. <laughs> so Life Orb like it blows his ass backwards. But if he's like a really bad set, then maybe we can win. I'm gonna go Rotom. I think my play here is to Calm Mind. Why not? Maybe he Pain Splits for some reason? That'd be sick if he Pain Splitted right now. <laughs> We'd be in business with a crit. <laughs> so he's full switch, yeah, so like... Psychic is like a mid-roll to knock us out, actually. So maybe he threw by doing that? I don't know. I feel like you should have just gone Gengar and then Volt Switched. Because like with some crits, we can get really lucky here. And if his Bronzong doesn't have a Psychic move too. Or like, be really aggressive with your creep. Like, be like modest for some reason. That would be dope, actually. Um, so Life Orb Psychic is a roll to knock us out if he's timid. Which means Bronzong should beat us afterwards, but like if he's a really bad, like super aggressive creep. No! <laughs> this could also just knock us out. Oh, of course he gets the roll. I mean, it's just, look at the game. <laughs> well, great game to mid, man. That was a fun one. Um, I don't even know why he made that play. That made no sense. But hey, I, there's not much I can do about that. That was fucking garbage. But <laughs> what, what else do you expect? What else do you expect? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed that shit show, be sure to drop a like. Uh, sub if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.